looks good. Mushroom mines. We can heal our health on either side of the door. There's just black base helm found. You just found your first piece of gear. These are items that can be equipped to your character to boost certain stats. This can be done from the equip menu. Only Shooty can wear caps and jackets, and Zot can wear helms and armor. Well, that's convenient. Saves me some trouble. Black base helm. Jump up. Okay. We've got optimized buttons, too. Very nice. Oh, did I not hit that one? Yeah. Okay. Danger. I kind of figured that going in. Hello. Mushroom man emerged. Doesn't look like much of a mushroom, but oh, I guess he's wearing a mushroom cap. Okay. Well, we're gonna slap him then. Punched me. What a jerk. Easy. Found a pipe bomb. What does the pipe bomb do? A bomb that looks like a pipe. Very descriptive. Thank you. Is that was something shooting can throw? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see what's over to the left. Ah, the garbage can. Ah, see? We would have missed this hard hat bin chicken. <laughs> this one's a little more serious. I'm still not going to waste ammo on it if I can help it, though. There's like a heal machine right over there, so I see no reason to expend any resources on this. Yeah. Got him. That was all that was over here, though. Green herb. So our Sometimes treasure chests are garbage cans. Mushroom mines, level one. Hmm. Requires a small key. So we need lots of small keys to get downstairs. Earth showed emerged. Oh dear. You're basically a diglet. Hi. A diglet crossed with a Paris. Terribly threatening. So it looks like the encounters are not random. Drac Bat emerged. I'm hoping that's a belly button down there. Not super compelling combat so far. Oh, these are tracks. I I saw this as a fence for some reason. Huh. Another mushroom man. Just wiping out these early encounters. One gold. Just one. We just found our first vending machine here. Small key. We need at least three of them so far. Green arm, pistol ammo, fish food. Cursing at people is hungry work. Hmm. That's a lot of health. They're also kind of pricey for our current level of funding. Hmm.
this. This just can happen. No. Knocked him down. Another crackhead bin chicken. right now, but I do appreciate that I can just hold the attack button and it just goes through instead of having to mash all the way through every time. I'm still prepared to make some tactical choices, but at least it's convenient. Greener? Heading up a floor. Another mushroom man. tell if the eyes are the little white dots or the little red things underneath, which I assume would be blush marks. It kind of worries me that these guys don't vanish from the map when I've defeated them. So what if they come back? a little low. Kind of wish I could see how much health they have in combat. Got a little more gold. Uh, I think five of those is enough. Don't worry about getting more just yet. Oh. Uh, it might be a little risky if we can't finish him in two turns. Okay, there's his health. Yeah, that's not good. We'll use a green herb. Hmm. A big mushroom man. Oh, that figures. <laughs> One green herb wasted. Senior mushroom man emerged. Alright, well this guy seems a little more serious. Let's take him a little more seriously. took all five of mine to call him a meathead? Oh yeah, I guess so, jeez. Well, I, you're slapping. Well, I took him out real quick, though. Okay. In search of keys. pretty scarce in this, huh? I can appreciate that, though. There's a lot of RPGs where you get so much money that the economy is just ruined. And it might become more plentiful later, but we'll have to see. There's a, a pair of legs. Mushroom Mines level 2. There's another vending machine. There's no legs up here. Interesting monster design. Gotta admit. Kicks your groin. With those heels, no less. And it kicks dirt, too. I don't know what effect that had. Okay. Got rid of that one. Another green herb. More fresh. I guess this is just 
the risk we take opening garbage cans for stuff. What a good appeal station. These things are pretty generously placed. I wonder if they will be stingier with them later. No. Well, let's go see what those pants are guarding before we... Well, I mean, I guess it, we know it's a dirt clod now. Let's go see what the dirt clod is guarding before we head through that door. Hello. Dropping two tunnels. Another giant machine. Small key. It's one. Uh. It's gonna soften us up before the boss. We've got a lot of green herbs, might as well use a couple. Make sure we're all right. Fight this guy. Right. Could have shot him once, but didn't feel like it. I'll shoot this one. How about that? Oh, there's another way down. Uh, too many ways to go. Eh. Can you tell I'm easily overwhelmed with possibilities? Make sense if they weren't, so I found a, another pistol. Oh, maybe was it pistol ammo or a pistol? small key. Cool, we already have enough for the uh, locks we saw on the first floor. Now what's over here? Black base armor. Uh, that's you, isn't it, Dot? Yes, it is. It'd be nice to find some equipment for shooty. Legs. Oh man, that dirt kicking attack actually does quite a bit of damage. Hold on. You're in pretty bad shape shooting. I guess you can only heal yourself. It didn't really give me the option to who to put it on. Oh, and a good thing I did. Maybe you better use another just for good measure. Uh, I guess 
guess I can spend a key there too. Just kind of exploring. Run gold. Run gold. Yeah, I definitely appreciate games that can pull off small numbers as well. Well, we'll have to see how it plays out in the long run. It's a bit of a trek, but let me get all the way back there for a second. Because the further along this path we get, the more likely it seems that this is the correct path to be on. And we did fight a lot of tough dudes over this way, so it would make sense if this was the correct way. I'm a little relieved to see all these things we killed are still just lying around dead. Looks like this elevator needs a key. Oh, okay. There you go, that's our answer. We'll just file that away back in our minds. Curious to see if any of these encounters respawn. That's always like the balance battle between touch encounters and random encounters. With random people can grind to their heart's content, and with touch, they can run out of enemies to kill. I'm the kind of person who just has to wipe out everything unless it's absolutely absurd how many things there are. Mushroom Mines level 3. Another green room. Hey, there's another elevator. I wonder if these elevators are connected and that's a shortcut. I guess it's possible. What's this over here next? Did I go all the way up here? I think I reached the end of this one. Yeah. Where does this go? Oh, there's a cave over here. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> Let's expend our first small key. Ooh. We got our choice of who to fight. But we're going to do both of them. Skellington Miner emerged. Let's see how tough Skellington Miner is. Hurting him pretty bad. Oh, he's, he's nothing at all. Found the mine's elevator key. There we go. Skellington Major. I'll assume you're harder and just shoot you. Unleash his spores. The mushrooms were the enemies all along. Let's try this cave while we're over here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you have got to be shitting me! Cordy biceps emerged. I mean, his head is literally a mushroom. All right, uh, this seems like another good time to shoot somebody. Pummeling. The 
is actually attacking me, unlike the last beefy guy. Your anatomy's kind of freaking me out, dude, I'm not gonna lie. That's not shooting yet. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Not like I have any means of reviving him if he goes down. 